Shalom, Shalom. I'll run me back. <clears throat> Another quick lesson. Just going into the uh, the times of uh, that we in, pretty much. Uh, the times that the people of Russia are calling for a strike against America, man. So um, the Lord is truly stirring up the uh, the Medes. First and foremost, I want to uh, give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Mahavra, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwap, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah in these last days. Play a couple of videos, and then I'm going to get a couple of scriptures, and that'll be the lesson. As we see on the screen, it says Russia, Russian people demand a strike on Washington immediately. Now, this is a Russian, so a Russian, so the people are going to be chanting in Russia to strike Washington. <laughs> Полетные задания в ракету Сармат! На Вашингтон! Здесь Сармат по городам врага! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Враг США! Враг США! Враг США! Мы как мученики попадем в рай! Они просто сдохнут! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Селься, Иван! Ахмад, запускай! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Сражайся, Дон! Сармат главный патрон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Мы как мученики попадем в рай! Они просто сдохнут! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Моя цель мой шеврон! Наша цель наш шеврон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! За Россию! За Россию! За Россию! За Россию! Против Садомии! Против Садомии! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! На Вашингтон! Мы как мученики попадем в рай! Они просто! As you see, the people are, are stirred up, man. Their people are stirred up to um, go to war with America. He held in Moscow saw There's attendees no and leaders calling for Russian President Vladimir Putin to launch a nuclear strike against Washington, D.C. A clip from the rally was shared to Twitter on Saturday morning by Julia Davis, creator of the Russian media monitor and columnist for the Daily Beast. In the video, a man can be seen leading a crowd of people through the streets of Moscow and through chants calling for attacks on Washington. Strike the decision-making centers, the man leading the crowd shouts. On Washington. A flight task for the Sarmat missile. On Washington. Sarmat, strike the enemy's cities. On Washington, USA is the enemy. We will go to heaven as martyrs. They will simply croak. The Sarmat missile referred to during the rally as the RS-28 Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, a thermonuclear weapon added to Russia's arsenal in 2018 and nicknamed the Satan II. Yeah, as you see, man, they want to uh, send send those missiles to America, Babylon and Greg. This is another little video that did happen today uh, about the uh, weapons factory hit in Mos near Moscow. So tensions are rising, man. There's no way around what is coming, man. World War III, the Battle, the battle of Armageddon. It is near, and it's at our, our doorsteps, man. There's no way they're going to turn back from, from what's coming. Let me get into the scriptures. The first scripture I want to get is uh, Ezekiel 38. And that's going into the Battle of Armageddon and what nations are going to be with Russia um, in this fight. And who they are going to be protected in that time. But I just want to get a point real quick out of uh, Ezekiel 38. And I'm just going to start at verse 4. And that's the point. It says, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armory, even a great company 
with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So they, they, they're, they're, they're basically telling you they're making their weapons prepared. The uh, weapons, which were referred to as swords in the ancient world, but at this time it's referring to the weapons of their missiles, their, their guns, the artillery. But first and foremost, is they, they're calling for the Putin to send the Sarmat, which is they coined it Satan too. So they want them to shoot missiles on America, man. Babylon the Great. And this is nothing, uh, I mean, you can't make this up. This is two sources I've gave you to show you that they're not playing. They want to uh, send missiles to America. This is Isaiah 13, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 17. <clears throat> he says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And the Medes are, are, are uh, Russia. Um, in, in, in the ancient world, it was a, another nation. I think it was a uh, another. It was another nation. Uh, was a, a Japhet uh, had um, um, had that land in the ancient world? But in this day and time, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in this day and time, it's the Russians. They they control that land right now, man. That's why it says, "Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard, not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it." So they're, them, them people are, are marching and chanting, shoot the missiles on Washington. They're not regarding any any um, any um, weapons. I mean, any money, in other words, Salakia. They're not regarding any money, what, what you can give us a stop. They want this place hit. Um, verse 18, it says, their, their bowls shall dash the young men to pieces. So now they're not thinking, well, there's some, there's some young guys over there um, that, that might get hit by the missile uh, or some young kids that might get hit by the missile. No, they're saying shoot the missiles over here. They kept chanting it. It says their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity of the fruits of the or the fruit of the womb. And that's talking about children, babies. They're not going to be worried about nobody um, having being pregnant or having a newborn baby. They're, they're trying to destroy America. 19, it says, In Babylon, the glory of, the, of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God, which is the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So what happened during Sodom and Gomorrah, it was um, basically fire come down from heaven. And those missiles are going to be the same way. So that's why he compared it to as when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. So the Lord is going to rain fire and brimstone down on Babylon the Great. And this place is not going to be inhabited anymore. This is Isaiah 14, and I'm going to start at verse 22. I just want to get the points, man. Pretty much all these scriptures, you can pretty much go into every single one of them. Um, I'm going to start at 21. It says, prepare slaughter. For her children, for the iniquities of her fathers. So this place is going to be destroyed for what their father's done. And that's for the controversy of Zion. That's in Joel. It's for what they did to the children of Israel. It says, prepare slaughter for her, for his children, for the iniquities of her fathers, for their fa her father's sins. His founding fathers of America, they're going to be destroyed for what they did. They do not rot to locking that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So these people are going to be utterly wasted, man. They're not going to be able to um, have any control over anything ever again. Verse 22, he says, For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant. So when this place goes down, the name and remnant of Esau, Edom, all the, uh, like I was saying the other day about how you, you go to these cities and you have all these billboards of all these lawyers and, and doctor's offices, all that's going to be put away. That's going to be put out of the land. Nobody's never going to know that uh, Joe Blow um, was a doctor or a lawyer here in Babylon. That's going to be, the, the name, um, their name's going to be put out of this place. You had Tommy Hill, figure Ralph Lauren, uh, Nike and Adidas. All these names of these um, of these country of, of these of these corporate companies that have these Edomite last names on them, even us, we have Edomite last names on us. 
But the Lord is going to wash all that away. That's going to be taken away. And their people are going to be taken away with it. It says, For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and sons and nephews, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And that's going into, they're not going to be able to uh, reproduce with their with their um, their bloodlines. They're going to be cut off forever. That's going back into jo uh, jo Obadiah 118. It says 23, it says, I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah of hosts. And that um, Apostle Gabar was going to that how the, the besom is a sweeping agent. And I seen a video um, today, which is basically going into, it was a, um, it was a, um, um, damn, I was thinking about how, how that shit, how was it? It was the, uh, uh, damn, those, those, dang, I forgot what they call that shit. But it was a, um, it was a nuclear missile um, hitting um, ground zero. And it sucked, all the air was sucked in toward the missile and then it blew right back out. And it basically, you can just see it sweep through the land. Virtual reality. Salakia, man. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. It was a virtual reality nuclear um, detonation uh, on a beach. And like I said, it's, it sucked all the air in. And then it blew it right back out. And it sweeped across the whole entire land. And then you seen the mushroom cloud go up. It was a... Um, uh, um, beast of, and that was a good example of the beast of my destruction because this place is not going to be inhabited anymore man and they're calling for it man the country is calling for the dest destruction of um, America because basically it says strike the um, decision making centers and uh, DC is the decision making centers man and also they just they was crying out to destroy the cities um, this is Jeremiah um, 50, and I'm going to start at verse 1. He said, The word that Yahweh Bashem spake against Babylon, which we know this is not ancient Babylon, this is the daughter of Babylon. And it says, The word of uh, the word that came, uh, the word that the Yahweh Bashem spake against, against Babylon. And against the land of the Chaldees by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard, publish and seal not, saying Babylon is taken, Baal is confounded. And that's those devils that um, they worship here in, in Babylon. Um, Merch, um, Morachadek, Merchadek. It's like if I ain't pronouncing it right. Merachadek is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. And as we, um, as you see in the, uh, the maps, um, Russia is considered to be the north part of us. So they'll be the northern part of America, man. So that's why the Lord said the north. I was uh, talking about the north country, the north nation. It says, for out of the north, there cometh up a nation against her, which shall not make, shall slock it, which shall make her land desolate. And that's talking about Russia coming against America. It says, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove they shall depart both man and beast. So when they sh sh shoot those missiles over here, everything is going, going to leave this place, man. It's going to be taken up into destruction. It's going to depart from this place. It says, and in those days, and in that time, saith Yahweh by Shem Shah, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, some of the northern and southern kingdom, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, their power. And the remnant, the hopeful elect, is seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahushua right now. Let me drop down to verse 8. It says, 
Remove out of, out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the as the he goat before the flocks. She says, for lo, I will raise up, so like I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations. And that's in Ezekiel 38. I just touched on it. You can go back and read from, um, from uh, Ezekiel 38 from uh, four on down and tell you the nations that's going to be with, um, with um, Russia. It says, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, assembly of, of great nations from the north country. Like I said, again, Russia is that north country that the Lord is going to bring against Babylon the great. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From hence, she shall be taken. So the Lord is going to take this place when he's uh, beginning to um, shoot, you put it in, in the minds of the men to come against Babylon the great. It says, their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. And the arrows is talking about those missiles. When they shoot those missiles, those uh, Sarmad and the Satan II missiles, they're going to um, be shot from the ends of the earth. And that's in um, the second edge is one. So when the Lord gives them basically the angels the final word to judge the time of judgment, they're going to shoot those missiles off. And they're going to hit exactly where the Lord wants them to hit. He says, shall, none shall return in vain. So basically, once those missiles get shot off, none of them are going to return. They're going to hit exactly where the Lord uh, wants them to hit. And the Chaldees shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Yahweh Bashem al Shah. So everybody that shoot those missiles and hit, hit Bab in Babylon the Great, they're going to be satisfied for, for, for the judgment that the Lord bring on it. And that's the children of Israel. They're going to be set. We're going to, we're going to be able to escape the hopeful elect. So, so Lord willing, you know, I'm a part of those, of those men, um, as well as you. This is, um, drop down to verse 29. It says, let me start at verse 28. It says, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion, the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, our power. That's what we're going to be claiming. The vengeance of our Lord. It says, the vengeance of his temple. And we are the Lord's temple. The men of the Lord. They prophesy on the highways and byways and make lessons, proclaiming a, a, a return of our Lord. It says, calling together the archers against Babylon. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's staring up all these nations and calling them to come against Babylon. He says, all ye that bend the bow, Camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her works and according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud against Yahweh Bashem Yahushah and against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall she slacking, therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. And all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So the Lord is not playing. He's going to send great destruction on Babylon, the great man. And like I said, it's for the controversy of Zion because they've been proud against the Lord. This is them drop down to verse 41. This whole chapter is dynamite, man. This whole chapter is dynamite. But I just want to hit a couple of scriptures, man. I don't want to make it too long because I played those videos in the beginning. But I got one more video I'm going to play at the end. And um, it's a great example of um, how we're going to, how we, we call it for the Lord to bring this judgment on this place. This is Jeremiah 50, and I'm starting at verse 41. It says, Behold, a people shall come from the north. And they keep iterating through this whole entire chapter the north, the north, the north. And that's talking about Russia. It says, Behold, a people shall come from the north. And a great nation and many kings shall be ra raised up from the coast of the earth. Like I said, it's those nations that's coming with Russia. That's going to be against Russia, uh, be, be with Russia to come against Babylon. As it says, it says they shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. 
And when those um, missiles are shot off, they're not going to show mercy to anybody. If you're left on the soils of America, Babylon the Great, you will be hit with those missiles. And Lord, like I said, Lord willing, we escape through the chariots. Because the Lord is going to come back with chariots, which the world calls UFOs, and, and, and have a great escape for the men of the Lord. The hopeful elect, 144,000, the one-third. They're going to escape the judgment. 42 again, it says, they shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel. And like I said, these, these nuclear missiles, man. <clears throat> and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea. And they shall ride upon horses. Everyone put in array like a man of, of like a man to the battle. Against the uh, oh, uh, against the daughter of Babylon, so that's how we know what ain't talking about the ancient Babylon. They're talking about uh, America's Babylon. This is the new Babylon. This is the new. This is what the Lord is saying about Babylon the Great, which in the uh, Revelations, which we're going to get, is is going to tell you that this is the place this is Babylon, as we know, because it says the daughter of Babylon. So we had a, a, a the the mother of Babylon, which was the ancient Babylon, and this is the daughter of Babylon. It says, verse 43, it says, the king of Babylon hath heard the report of them. So what would they ever say with the king will be like a Biden? He's going and talking to these other nations. He have made threats towards Russia and, and Russia made threats towards him. So they know this is coming. Everybody's being prepared for this, this, this great, uh, great battle, which is World War Three, the Battle of Armageddon. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them and is and his hands wax feeble. Anguish took hold of him and prangs as a woman in travail. So once those missiles be shot off, he's going to be scared, man. He's going to fear like all the elite, those upper echelon uh, men in society, in this society, which are Edomites. They're going to be scared when Russia start to shoot those missiles off. But it's going it's going to come. It says, 44, it says, Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan into the inhabitation of the strong, but I will make them suddenly run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me and who it will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore, hear, the, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, that he hath taken against Babylon. This is the Lord's, what the Lord's going to do against Babylon. And this is not nobody else's word. This is the Lord's words, the Bible, man. King James 16.11. It says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldees. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their inhabitation desolate with them. And that's talking about Israel. Israel's going to basically start it off. So once Israel will attack Iran, like you read in Ezekiel 38, it tells you that, that the Lord, um, let me go back to it. Let me go back to uh, Ezekiel 38. So the least of the flock is going to draw them out. And uh, verse four again, it says, and I will turn thee back, talking about Russia, and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armory, even a great company with bucklers and shields. That's just weaponry. All of them handling swords, all of them having missiles. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shields and helmets. So all these nations that is going to come against Babylon, the Lord is naming them. It says Gomer and all his bands and the house of Togomar of the North Quarters. And that's talking about Turkey, which Turkey is in NATO. But Turkey just got uh, attacked by, a, um, I think, a U.S.-backed um, 
militia and um, uh, uh, America tried to send condolences to Turkey, but they wouldn't they wouldn't recognize it. They didn't they didn't they didn't um, they didn't recognize their condolences because that that um, the lady that did the terrorist attack was um, uh, American backed. So this is a prophecy that those uh, Turkey is going to turn and be with Russia, which we already know they got packs and deals and stuff like that. But um, this is basically, I, thought, I don't know. I mean, I'm for sure. But the scriptures say that they're going to um, be with Russia when this, when this battle of Armageddon comes. He says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company. So the Lord told Russia, be prepared and all the company, all the nations with you. He says that are assembled unto thee and be a guard unto them. So Russia is going to be a guard unto all these nations. If they get attacked by America, any other nation, they're going to be they're going to be backed by um, Russia. So that 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 nation, uh, the nations are being prepared to um, for a great battle. And I just heard another uh, article where um, not an article, but a video. I seen another video where. Um, I forgot his name is on YouTube. Um, ball headed, uh, uh, ball headed Edomite, where he goes into current events and current times. And he was saying that Russia just put out a memo that uh, a private memo that uh, be prepared to be attacked by Russia at any time. But I'm gonna end it, uh, end it with this last, uh, last scripture. This is um, Re uh, Revelation 18. Let's start at verse 8. He says, Therefore. Shall her plagues come in one day, death and oh, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is Yahweh by Shem Shah, who have judged her. So this is the Lord's judgment. This ain't um, nobody else's judgment. This ain't Russia coming against America. This ain't um, Turkey or um, North Korea or any other nation. This is the Lord judgment. This is the Lord who's going to judge them because the missiles that they have, they're not going to um, control them no way. The Lord is going to be in those missiles, man. The Lord, the scriptures say the Lord is a consuming fire. Verse nine, it says, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived del uh, deliciously with her shall bewail her. So all the countries that, um, that, that basically loved America and Got paid off American benefit from America, Great Britain, France, all these other countries. They're going to bewail her and they're going to lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, at last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour have, hot, have thy judgment come. So the Lord's judgment is going to come in one hour on Babylon the Great. And nobody's going to be able to turn it back. This is one last video I'm going to get. And this is the, this is the, um, this is the Southern Kingdom, the Levites. And they're turning and they want to bag Russia as well. As you see, why are coming, why are some protesters waving the Russian flag in Haiti? So this is the, for the controversy of Zion, man. If you've been following the protests that are happening in the streets of Haiti, you've probably seen a lot of this. Haitians waving the Russian flag. Some Haitians are even painting the Russian flag on their bodies. But why? What does Russia have to do with the current challenges that Haiti is facing? Waving the Russian flag is a symbol of anti-US imperialism. That's why you'll see Haitians waving it in front of the US embassy in Port-au-Prince. This is less about Russian ideology and more about the fact that Russia has historically been a rival to the US. Additionally, Haitians are aware of the current global events that highlight the tensions between the US and Russia. Russia is a world power that has historically resisted U.S. imperialism, and so their flag has become a symbol of anti-U.S. imperialism and a rejection of U.S. military force. To be clear, this is not me pledging allegiance to Russia, but rather me explaining what's happening on the ground in Haiti. Shalom, Kwame Yasharala.